Hello everybody and welcome back to the Andvar Bus Videos YouTube channel. And you join me for an OMSI video that um, were missing last week. And we'll discuss that shortly why they were missing. But anyway, um, in the time that I've been off and been busy and all sorts of exciting stuff, um, I have um, found out or had a little look and discovered that when it all loads in, that it will do in a sec, I hope, um, that West Country version 3.03 has been released. So West Country version 3.03 was the one that we had in beta testing. A very, very big thank you to the UK development team for allowing me to be part of that testing and to showcase the exciting updates to you all. Um, and as a result, um, the map, as I did tell you all, it wouldn't be long till it's released. Here it is as an update. So it's important to note um, a few bits from the readmes um, and bits and bobs like that. Um, it basically states that the main extension and expansion onto this map is the top list routes 1A and 1B. These are the main routes. In this video, we're going to drive the 1B. In the next video, we'll probably drive the 1A. And then the video after that, we might do a 35. And the reason I want to do a 35 as well is because the X35 has been taken off the map. Now, the reason the X35 has been taken off the map is they're doing a few different remedial work and, and jobs with the map itself. And they've had a little look and some of the sculpt re sculpturing that they're doing in parts of the map and rerouting and bits and bobs like that mean that the X35 is rather redundant um, overall or, or in their sort of um, design specs at the moment. So the X35 no longer exists um, at the moment in the version 3.03 update and it is just the 35 like it used to be back in the day. So this is Totnes bus station, as you can see, not much has changed here. Um, the buses, the AR buses still park in the middle, they don't go into the stands and there's still no loading of passengers um, on the actual bus station site. The bus station site itself is just a little bit of trivia. So for the fact that we are slightly running late, um, I will sort all of this out straight away. So there we go, so that's us 1B, Totnes Circular Anti-Clockwise. Now I am using the recommended um, buses of the West Country, um, or West Country 3 as they call it, um, I'm using the special repaint pack that was recommended and I thought I would choose the B5TL um, because it was the thing that first loaded up um, when I selected the buses and I thought I'd choose the Pride liveries, it just looks a little bit cool. So, and, and driving these master switch um, B5s is always, always a pleasure. We'll see just how quick we get round, get what? round the estate. Hi. Hello. Hi, driver. Hello. Hello. So if I remember from the beta testing that we did, the route should look similar. I would imagine there's going to be some slight differences here and there, um, but we'll just have to see um, what it's like, see how it goes, and obviously as well see how busy the bus is, because what they do advertise is that this. <laughs> is that this route would be run by the solo that at this exact specific moment I haven't got, although I am looking into getting it this week, um, depending on what mood I'm in. So they do advertise with the solo, so I can't imagine it's going to be particularly too busy, I would hope. Does feel a little bit slow on the frames. Um, I think the the issue with a map like this is regardless of the rig that you've got, um, it, it 
it sometimes does struggle a little bit just purely because of how dense all the scenery is and how detailed it is. We do have to remember that, obviously... Um, oh, there's a truck there now. Uh, OK. Um, oh, truck. Um, and that goes R1A. But yeah, why there wasn't a video last week? Um, and that was because I was um, away from the computer all week. Um, I was actually down south. You will find out the location that I was um, in in videos, I believe, in about a month's time-ish on the Anmore Central channel once I've edited them up and sorted that. Um, so you find out basically in a few weeks um, where I was. Um, so there's some quite exciting content that I managed to film down there while I was there and um, for other reasons. This, jo this used to be a roundabout. Okay, that has also changed. Realise there's people wanting us there. I kind of just approached it like it was still the roundabout and didn't think that, hang on a sec, if I'd have known that all these people were there, um, I probably would have snuck past, snuck past the truck just to get in. So yeah, this will standardly use an Optair Solo. This is, is very, very busy as a route. Very busy, in fact. But we'll see the other... Oh, there is still a lost person. There we go. Now, the reason that I have chosen um, to do the 1B first is because I like the 1B, because if this hill is still the same as what it was, it's a really cool hill to go up. And um, we'll just see, because as you can see, this has all been remodelled. As I did see in the beta testing um, release videos that I did of this, there could still be some changes between what we drove and the final release. And as you can see, this junction is one of them. However, I would argue that this junction is a lot more practical. Um, OMSI just doesn't particularly like the junction, like roundabouts and things like that. Um, it is a shame because roundabouts do add a bit of variety in places like this. But the problem with when you're doing a roundabout in a busy area, and like you'll all know on the um, 12 service to Stoneley is you have to put a lot more admin to it to make sure it flows and works in vice just a junction like that that does the exact same thing um, but flows a lot easier. I think that might be a decent screenshot depending on where our lighting is. It'll be nowhere near where we want it to be as per usual. That'll do if I forget. If I get any other screenshots that'll do. I knew it would get up. Uh, Yorkshire coastline, I still use these types of buses somehow, so of course it will get up. I think as well these two circular routes give a little bit more purpose to the outstation yard um, at Totnes. Um, it just you provides a little bit more. Theory. Thank you. Um, just provides a little bit more purpose um, to that yard that just felt it, it was really really detailed and really nice to drive from. But because you were always doing the Pennington and and 35s and X35s, you always drove from Pennington Depot. So you'd never use that. the outstation. It was very, very rare you'd see the outstation. So this just proposes a little bit more purpose to that, that I think is quite good. Jesus, that was close. I was initially going to choose the veil in pack, um, but as this um, automatically loaded up, I thought, ah, we'll give it a go. And definitely can tell the speed difference on some of these hills. Just, I mean, it, it stays at the speed, so it does have that, but I prefer the veil in pack where it continues to accelerate up the hills. Much more to my preference.
There's always one car that parks just before the double yellows on a junction like this. Does this upset you? Question mark. We all have one life. Give every everyone the chance to live it. Don't waste yours on hate. That's cool. Just a bit in bold where it says, does this upset you? Uh, it's just... It's a, an interesting statement. I don't think you'd... Although you never know, some bus companies are quite bold. You might actually get that on some buses. I mean, the statement is, is well and truly correct. Um, but... As I say, I don't think I don't think many companies would be brave enough to put that kind of phrasing on, because it is quite it's quite strong strong bold phrasing. Right. Although I say that, it goes very well with delivery, and the message is good. So, does the job. Oh, that's a bollard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> bollard has bollard slightly gone and um, had an oops. Hello. Hello. Oh no, this has changed slightly as well up here. I'm sure it has. Tell you somewhere I really, really enjoyed sampling this type of bus. Really, really enjoyed it. Surprisingly, in Belfast. When I went to Belfast, these B5s just, they just, the spec was incredibly basic, but it was just the power up the hills, the acceleration off the market. They were, they were really, really nice buses. I do definitely prefer the B5 TLs over the Daimler engines. Um, it, it, the, the, Vol the Volvo engine is does have a little bit more character to it than the B than the Daimler, and it also has quite a lot more power on hills. Hello, mate. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why they're all stood up near the front as well. I saw they're all just looking at me in the mirror. It's like, drive. Drive carefully. Uh, well, I will drive carefully if you weren't staring at me point blank into the mirror. Dear me, this is a Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Should stick with stay electric, mate. Right, fine. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh, it's eking a little bit. There we
How are we doing for time? We are pretty much on time. That was a new voice. Uh, that was a a West Country specific voice. Let's just make sure. Super. Come on, boss. Power, power, power. When I get through these lines, just had to make sure it was off still recording because I thought I accidentally clipped the stop record button that is just a big fear of mine because I have, I have done that before, especially on like 45 minute long routes, that's when it's most upsetting. Hello, lad. I would argue as well that the B5LH um, that they did um, with the newer B5, B5 engine in um, is quicker than this because you obviously have the hybrid drive mode so when you get the older B5s the older older ones with the, that tend to be on the Gemini 2 bodywork um, and sometimes Eva Seti bodywork as well um, they're, they're just clunky into gears very slow off the mark never decide if they're going to leave an electric or diesel mode and all of that and then you get the newer ones that they have in london and it's just so different they're, they're so rapid off the mark oh, hello. really really rapid um i mean this one usually is i just don't, don't quite know i think it i think it just feels slow because i've i tend to drive the veiling vehicles now um, over these, over anything in fairness, <laughs> then should have the veilings a fair bit. Although it is quicker than the, than a street deck would have been. Because the street decks would have just crawled up some of the hills that we've been up. So basically this update means that you get these two routes um, they are doing a lot more work to painting um, for 3.1 so they've released this um, map based on the new 1A and 1B services with the idea that 3.1 will have a regenerated paint and pretty much. So there is there is that element of expansion um, so it's just worth, worth considering that yes it is a new release. Um, but there are still elements of the map. As with most of the projects, that is still a work in progress. Hello, driver. So it's just just worth considering that. Although the one A and one B is complete, um, so. If you want to spend your days like I sometimes like to on locals, just driving round and round and round. And these are the routes for you. Because all you need to do is base yourself, I believe it is still in the game, at Totnes Out Station. Um, and just drive these routes round and round and round all day. Yeah, it's not particularly happy with the frames, especially when I do go fast. Do you know how to drive properly? Yes. <laughs> yes. Little bit of little bit of fast braking because I didn't quite realise how quick I was going.
it's very rare now on some circular services oh, yeah. um, how they how they've done them with service cutbacks. If you actually see an alternative bus going the other way, there's some circular services now that in some places that just have one bus rotated between two routes that then in turn really defeats the object of circulars. When you get to that stage, you're best just having a bus going in one direction, just looping round and round and round, because then people will still get to their destination eventually, instead of complicating things. There we go, we'll change the blind so the AI people know that I'm not doing another loop again. And if we go into the bus station. Now I think I'd argue with this, if the reversing stands in the bus station can't be used and there's no passengers waiting here, then if it was me I'd probably just expand um, the main street in Totnes and especially for these circulars, I'd just have them terminate. Um, terminate in the main in the main street because yes these stands are set up here but there's never anybody waiting because obviously the AI wouldn't be able to pick them up so it just feels a little bit a little bit pointless um, in fairness but yes um, apart from that um, a very very nice drive on the 1B service um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, it's a lovely, lovely route, um, and the map's free, so I recommend downloading it if you haven't already. Possibly one of the best, if not the the best, um, free to download UK map out there, and um, so it is worth download if you haven't already. But for now, though, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And Marbles Videos YouTube channel for more content like this from the simulation section, as well as an archive of over 5,000 backseats and engine-focused public transport videos from the UK and beyond. Featuring buses, trams, trains and more, it's always worth um, having, a, having a little nose in the archives as there's a video in there for everyone, with up to 21 additional uploads as well per week. Once again, though, I would like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.